So everybody asks, what did Joe Biden and Barack Obama do in their eight years to improve the situation of African Americans? Legitimate question, wouldn't you say? Now, I followed that administration as closely as anybody. And I interviewed um, President Obama three times. And I hope you Google those interviews. They were the toughest interviews he's ever done. Joe Biden was afraid to sit with me. He admitted it to me. He, he just wasn't going to do it. Um, but I know what the Obama-Biden administration did. And they tried to improve the situations of blacks. They did. They tried. And they failed. The reason they failed was it was all about money, not about discipline and fairness. That's what it has to be about. So go back uh, from last week's column about education. That's the only way that income inequality will be solved. Not by giving people stuff. But Barack Obama and Joe Biden, they, they wanted to give people stuff in the hopes they would be elevated, and it did not work. In fact, it hurt many Americans. So in the eight years, the tour in office means tested entitlements. That's food stamps and housing and Medicaid, everything to personally improve your fortunes, rose 60 percent, up to $710 billion a year. 60% rise in eight years on means titled, um, means entitlement, okay? Food stamp, when Barack Obama took office, 13 million homes were receiving food stamps. When he left, 40 million, because he made it easier for Americans to get food stamps, okay? Federal anti-poverty spending. All right. That is everything. Up 56 percent. You tie that into the 60. It's the same thing, but there are a few subtle differences. In addition to the massive amount of tax money that flowed into the African-American precincts, primarily uh, Hispanics, poor whites, they did food stamps, too, but it was primarily African-Americans benefiting. So 20 million under Obamacare got free health care. Most of those are black. So you can see this is what the Obama administration, that was their strategy. Now, one other thing, my brother's keeper, and this was the biggest tragedy of all. That is a mentoring program where you take very successful people, and you match them with younger teenagers, and they mentor them all the way on through. My Brother's Keeper. Fantastic program. If we could get that up on a national level, and I tried, I'll tell you about it someday, but I, don't, I want to be careful about what I do here when I tell you about it. So I'm still thinking about it. But I tried to get this into the forefront of every American home. My Brother's Keeper program is a key. If you can get all the successful people and mentor them up with kids, you can really make a difference. Obama tried. And he got it done maybe 10% of what I think he could have done. If I ask Joe Biden tomorrow about Brother's Keeper, I don't think the vice president even know what it is. Maybe I'm wrong. I'll never get the chance because he'll never sit for me. So summing up, the Obama administration tried to help African-Americans and other minorities and poor people in this country. They did. They failed. And in the process, they hurt the American economy, which, of course, hurt minorities. Trump came in. Trump revamped it. Economy exploded. Lowest unemployment for blacks and minorities in history until the coronavirus hit. On a personal level, on a social front, there wasn't any improvement between black and white relations in this country in the eight years of our first black president. That's not his fault. 
It's not his fault. He tried. He didn't take the right path. 